Welcome back, folks. I want to thank you once again for our new subscribers out there. Thank you for watching. Continue to watch and support G Cooking with GK. Like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Today, I'm going to show you something, another super simple recipe, steak quesadillas. <laughs> Alright, the ingredients I'm using, of course, just some regular old sliced steakums, some salt and pepper. And what I have here, you know, to make it easy, I have some onions, yellow pepper, green pepper, and red pepper. It's about maybe a tablespoon. You may not have to use that much, but that's what I'm going to use today. Just got some flour tortillas and some sharp cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese that you like or you prefer mozzarella, Swiss, Kobe Jack, it's up to you. Super simple recipe. All the measurements and everything I'm gonna use is gonna be in the description below. What you wanna do is just simply brown your steak and grab it while you're cooking. Get it with your salt and your pepper. Didn't say this in the beginning, but I'm gonna put a little rubber savory steakhouse on it. Get it a little bit more flavor. Super simple, ladies and gentlemen. And we really want to incorporate our veggies. It doesn't take long to cook these steaks at all. All right, folks, we're going to incorporate our vegetables. In about a tablespoon of each. Oh, smelling so good already. Super simple, ladies and gentlemen. Probably takes about maybe 15 to 20 minutes if that a prep time. Once we, and once we're gonna do, once we cook our steak to our desired temperature and taste, we're gonna set it aside, let it cool, and prepare our pan to Toast the quesadillas. Oh, the aroma coming off this is incredible. All right, folks, I've set my steak aside. I've also I've, I've used a paper towel to drain some of the grease off of it. Set my cooked steak aside. Now it's time to prepare the tortilla. I hit the pan with some pan spray. You want to just layer your cheese first. Except for you, you know you can do steak first, but I do cheese first. So 
super simple. Put your steak on there. Of course, you can top it with more cheese, which I'm gonna do at the end. You hear the tortilla. Put this on a low heat. You can hear the tortilla cooking already. You know, try to keep it as neat as possible, of course. Top with a little bit more cheese. Pour the case of the over like that. Press it down. Now the trick is to get a good flip without losing any of your steak. You know? That's the key. So the cheese on the top can melt. Let's see. There we go. See that? Super simple. Just take your time. Lost a little bit of steak, but that's all right. Put that tortilla nice and crispy to the to the bite. Again, I got this on low heat, about medium heat. All right, folks, that came out perfectly. The nice crispy tortilla. You know what time it is, and I just pulled out some sour cream to dip it in. You know what time it is, folks. Time to taste it. All right, here we go. First, without the dipping sauce, you see that? Just the right amount of steak, cheese. Did you hear that crunch? Mmm. The seasoning, the peppers, the onions. Oh, one more. Well, let's put some sour cream on it. Not necessary, but you know. You can have this for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Super simple, folks. Oh. Well, there you have it. Thanks again for tuning in to another session of Cooking with GK. Again, to all my new subscribers out there, thank you. Like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And I'll catch you on the next session of Cooking with GK.